What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've never seen my face before, my name is Daryl, and thank you for visiting my channel. Today what I'm doing is I'm giving you guys a story time on my sleep paralysis. Now, before we get started in this video, I know you're probably looking like, why is there a bowl of cereal sitting to the side? Now, me personally, I'm a normal person. So, it's about nine o'clock now, and I work at about 10.30. So I say, you know what, I need to make sure I eat, because I work long hours. So I'm like, you know what, let me just kill two birds with one stone, let me just eat me a bowl of cereal, while I tell you guys my story time. So, if it's a little ghetto, I apologize, but I gotta eat. So, I don't know what to tell you. Basically, um, if you've never heard of sleep paralysis, what sleep paralysis is, is basically like, and the analogy that I'm gonna use is a little dark, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but everybody close your eyes. Just close your eyes right now, everybody just close them. Imagine you're at a funeral. Now, you know how they have the portion of the funeral where you go and you view the body and you look into the casket and you see the person that's laying there? It's kind of like, imagine you see the, the person in the casket. Imagine you see that person and they're like that, laying like regular, but their eyes are open. And inside this person's head, inside the person in the casket head, they're screaming like, help, help, help me. But they're not moving, they're just like, that's what sleep paralysis is. It's like a weird, it's kind of like you don't have control over your body. Some people, I've seen videos where people are like, oh, I was able to move my fingers and I was able to hold my breath and I was able to move my toes. Nah, mine wasn't like that. So yeah, that's what sleep paralysis is. It's, it's a really scary thing. It's like a, I don't know if it's a spiritual thing. I don't know if it's a dream state. I don't know what it is, but I know it's just real creepy. I may have had it about two or three times, but I'm gonna tell you guys the first one just cause I can't fully remember the other ones. So this is what happened, right? So it started off on a Saturday night. It started off in a dream. This is how it usually starts, I think. Well, for me, anyway. So, I had a dream, right? It was like a real crazy, like, like I guess you could say spiritual type dream. It was, I, I gotta try to explain it to you guys. So, imagine this right here. This is a ground. This is like grass up here and then dirt and roots and stuff down here. So, this is how it was. The dream was, there was like a slide. Like a big old slide. Like, I'm talking about like a, like a long, like water slide type thing. And it was two divisions. It was like the slide coming from here. And going up and then like you know the bottom that's what i'm trying to ex i can't really explain it just imagine this right here a slide on top of this and then a bunch of dirt and roots and stuff up here so it was basically like heaven and then hell that's kind of what it was so um i'm trying to figure out how to, how to explain this so imagine like like i said the slide is right here and then this is like the other platform so it's like grass heaven hell in the gap and then another heaven over here so it was kind of like what happened was i went down the slide and i made it halfway over here and then i dropped and it was kind of like, uh, like, oh, I just fell into hell type thing. It was that. And it was real scary because I didn't understand the dream. I never did. And when I woke up that morning, I went, first place I went was to my god mom because she knows like about, you know, spirituality and stuff like that. So I was asking questions. I was like, yo, like, what does that mean? Does that mean like I'm going to hell? And then right after that dream, as soon as I fell, I woke up. And when I woke up, I was in sleep paralysis mode. Like I said, sleep paralysis is just when you can't move. It's like I had no control of my body. It's like I'm laying there. Now, some people said that they saw like spirits or people sitting on their chest or something like that. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't get that because I was looking straight up and I couldn't really turn my head. So I was looking straight up like this, moving my eyes. And it's like, it's like you try to move your mouth to say something. I'm trying to say like, mama, like, mama, like, like, I'm trying to, mama. I don't know, I just felt like amigo. I'm like, yo, like, I can't, I can't do nothing. And at this point, like, I've never experienced this before, so I'm kind of scared. Now, I remember specifically. I could move my eyes, like I said, so I'm looking over and I see my door, my door is cracked open. And it's like black on the outside, pitch black on the outside. And I see something move, kind of like a shadow or something like that. But I don't pay it much attention because I don't, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, I'm scared. So obviously I paid attention. But I'm not really like looking like, oh, that's an evil like spirit type thing or like a demon or something. I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to go that far because I feel like I'll psych myself out if I do that. I can't control my breathing. I'm breathing on my own. It's like I can't move my hands and my toes. I'm just kind of laying there looking up at the ceiling. Now, I don't know how you guys, like, you know, function and how you guys do, like, your, you know, how you get scared and stuff like that. But me personally, my default, whenever I'm scared or whenever I have an issue where I'm like, oh my goodness, like, this is about to happen. I default to Jesus. <laughs> that's that's just what I default to. Like even before I was in church, that's just what I do. So I'm talking about like, and it's like anything. Whenever I'm scared, whenever I'm nervous. So for instance, if you, um, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you've ever been to Carowinds, you know they have a ride called Fury Three Two Five, the big, the tallest giga coaster in the world, or something like that. Something that I'm not getting back on ever again. Not even Carowinds. If you've ever been on like a tall roller coaster and you get into the top and you're just like, oh my god, bro, like why did I? Eat? Like I don't even know why I decided to do this, bro. Like like this was stupid. Like and, and then I can't turn around because it's already gonna drop so now i gotta deal with it it's like that so i get up there and i'm just like oh my goodness 
and you see all the other cars starting to fall and me personally, I'm just me, like I said, I just default to Jesus. I'm just like, Jesus! Yeah, I was looking around like confused, like, bro, oh my God, like, I, like, am I dying? Am I dead? Like, I, I, it was so confusing. I just didn't really know what to do. So like I said, I'm laying there and after a while, like, I'm scared now. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. My door is, like, open and shadows is moving. And mind you, now, I never sleep with my door open. My door is always closed. I don't know why. It's just because my room is, like, I have my TV on, and it's always dark in the hallway. And I ain't scared of the dark or nothing like that. I ain't no punk. Because my mind be playing tricks on me. And so I just feel like I'm going to, like, be staring out there, and somebody's just going to pop up and stand in the door. And then I got to, you know what I mean? I just be, it's just that type thing. So I'm laying there, and I'm just like, it's like, Help! Help! Oh. You can't talk, you can't move, you can't do nothing. It's like you want to try to call for somebody, but your lips won't move. It's like a weird thing. It's like I couldn't move anything, like nothing. And I, could, I couldn't even turn my neck. I could just look like this. And like I said, I didn't know what was going on. So like I said, I defaulted. I'm like, Jesus, like what's going on? And lie to you not, like this was before I was even big in church or anything like that. When I said the word Jesus, I promise you, like, and, and it's, it sound real weird because it's one of those things you have to experience. I can't just tell you the story. But when I said, like, Jesus, like, what's going on? And it wasn't even, like I said, I couldn't really talk. So I know you're probably thinking, like, you just said you couldn't talk. It's like my lips were open like that. And it was like, Jesus. As soon as I said it, it was like, I know you've been next to, a, like, a city bus or, like, a UPS truck when they stop and it goes, it just like relaxes. That's kind of how it felt. It was like my chest. It was like my chest released. It was like a, like a, and then I sat up real quick. It's like, it was like real, I wish I could explain it to you guys, man. I really can't. It's a really strange thing. Like sleep paralysis is, is something that's like, it's one of those things you don't, you don't know how to explain. It's one of those things, like I said, you got to experience. I can't just tell you the story. And you just fully get it, cause it's it's sleep paralysis. Like it's 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 like a I, maybe like a spiritual thing. I don't know. I was told it's like um, in South Carolina. I think I I think Charlemagne said it. It was like um, I don't know a witch or something, a black witch, a black something comes sit on your chest at night, and that's what causes sleep paralysis or something. I don't know. I don't like thinking about that stuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're real, and I don't want to bother none of them. I'm just like, hey, look, I believe in God. Okay, if y'all want to come, you know. Just, just don't come to my house. Y'all just stay outside, roam around with the other heathens. I'm not, I'm not with that. I'm not with it. I ain't even gonna admit to no demon existence. I ain't gonna admit to none of that. I'm just gonna, yo, look, it's only good spirits. Somebody, I'm telling I could be driving down the street and I can see a girl, you know, like in movies, they got the girl standing there in the street with her head down and she got blood on her shirt and she just standing. I'm gonna be like, that's an angel trying to trick me right there. That's what that is. And I'm gonna whip that car back around and I'm gonna go the other way. So yeah, that's what happened. I had another sleep paralysis, but this one was, I wanna say this was about the same thing. For some reason, my sleep paralysis is always associated with like spiritual stuff, which is kind of scary. I don't know. It's just like a weird thing. It's like a heaven or hell type thing. or It's like, I don't know, man. It's just real strange. So if you've ever had sleep paralysis, if you ever experienced sleep paralysis, I would say, I'm trying to give y'all some kind of tip or something. I would say, um, I mean, ain't much you can do, but say Jesus. It worked for me. So I don't, I don't know. It might work for y'all. I have no idea, but I would try it anyway. I actually remember the second time that I did have sleep paralysis. Now, a while ago, I did a story time about, um, I don't know, we had like a party at school and I felt like somebody spiked a fruit punch or gave me a weed cookie or something because I about died. You can go back and look at that story time, you know, a couple, couple weeks ago. The night when I was down there and I, I had like a migraine and I had like a real bad migraine, I was laying in bed and I woke up and I just couldn't move. That's just, that's just sleep paralysis. You just can't move. I wish I could explain it to you guys, but like I said, it's one of those things you have to experience. It's kind of like, it's just laying there. Like, it's like I said, look, if you go to a casting... Imagine being dead, you in the casket at this little burial, at this funeral, and people walking, looking at you. Imagine you just sitting there. Nobody knows what you're going through but you. You sitting there, you looking at people. You looking at people like, help, help, help. And everybody just like, oh, he had to die so young. And they just walk off. He just like, where you going? Like, help. So I just remember I'm laying in bed, and same thing happens. This time I didn't say Jesus, because I didn't default to it this time. I don't know what happened. I think I just laid there until and I was at this at that point I was just like, I ain't now whatever happened, happened now. Like hey, I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Look, I'm just going I think I honestly went back to sleep. 
I wouldn't recommend that. But I woke up and I was like, you know, let me just let me just close my eyes, go back to bed. And then I, I went to sleep, woke back up, and now everything was regular. But so it happens. It happens like it happened two or three times in my life. And then honestly, I got a lot of like spiritual, like scary type stories. Like if y'all, if you guys want like some more scary slash spiritual story times, I can give you some. Like I can still remember being at my old house. Um, we was my cousins were staying with us at the time. We were sleeping in the dark. I used to sleep with a nightlight because I don't know. I just I don't like sleeping in the dark. Like I'm not scared of it. It's just darkness is so dark. But I remember sleeping uh, in the dark. My cousin used to always cut off the nightlight in the middle of the night. I told him not to do that, but he would always do that. And one day I'm I I was sleeping towards the wall. I turned over and like no lie, no lie. I again I don't really with this evil. I'm like yo, if you evil spirit just. Just, you know, do what you gotta do and get out. Cause I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? If we gotta, you know what I'm saying? We gotta square up, you know, we can do that. I turn around and he, the way he's laying, I, I lie to you not, I see something pop up and look me dead in my face. And like, when I tell you like, that scarred me like for life. Like I, every time we were sleeping, my cousin would turn off the night. Like I wouldn't even turn over no more. I'd just be looking at the wall. I would like reach to try to turn it on, but I would never like just turn back around. cause. It's, it's just like, I don't know, like, creepy, like, spirits and stuff. Like, I mean, I believe in them, but it's like, I choose not to. Because it's like, why like why would I put that negativity in my life? I don't want to be associated with you. Like, I just believe in God and angels and Jesus. And, and that's that's why I'm at. I'm, I'm, I'm optimism and positivity and yellow, uh, I guess red, yellow, purple, and blue and, and green and bright colors. And, you know, the evil is so, you know black and dark and red and I'm, that's not my whole thing i just don't want to do that but yeah guys so like i said that's my sleep paralysis story if i can think of like everything that happened in like the third time i had it then i'll give you guys another story time but for now i'll just give you that one because i can't remember everything that happened but um if you did enjoy this video if you've ever had sleep paralysis before comment below and tell me your story um mine might not have been as scary as somebody else's that you may have heard but just know in the moment i was terrified mm -hmm. Make sure you come back and see me. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave a comment telling me about your sleep paralysis story. Or if you, or if you've never had it, but you scared that you might get it. No, no, comment below, tell me that. Subscribe, because I'm gonna post videos every Tuesday and Thursday, every single week. So, I appreciate you guys for watching, man. Thank you guys for following me on all my social media platforms, from Instagram to Snapchat to Facebook to Pinterest to, um, Twitter, the MySpace, to, well, have this. I ain't got no mind. But anyway, yeah, follow me and all those. They will be in the description box below. I appreciate you guys for watching again. Um, and I'm out.